Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review the first issue of The Last Siege, which is the latest image comic. This one is written by Landry Q. Walker with uh, art by Justin Greenwood, colors by Eric Jones, and lettering by Patrick Brousseau. Guys, this is a pretty good comic book. I'm going to read the setup here because, uh, uh, because it basically says all you need to know. And uh, it's after years of war and the lords of the West have fallen to a cruel king from a from across the sea and this cruel king sends his most brutal knights to claim the the last few remaining houses that have uh, been defeated in battle and this one last free house that remains it's a small castle on a distant coast and the ruler of this castle was king Aiden, Adon, and he's been killed in battle and so it's just a matter of these brutal sort of brutal knights sent by this king from across the sea to go and claim this last remaining house and basically the plan is to go there and marry the daughter of the king that their armies have, have just killed. And so that's the plan. So as these brutal kings and brutal knight, pardon me, as these brutal knights sent by this cruel king show up in this, throw up, uh, throw up, <laughs> show up in this kingdom, they encounter something rather curious. And that is, and this is where the trope begins. So it starts off as kind of a cliche. It's a stranger wandering into a strange land. You know, you know, in those old westerns, it's like the pale rider. He rides in on a pale horse. Well, this one's kind of a similar story because this is just about a, a stranger. He's, he's wandering into all this mess, or at least you think he's a stranger. And he's wandering into a town and he goes into a bar. He's the typical guy, you know, he's sort of like the strong, silent type. He just wants to be left alone and he wants to have a drink. You know, I don't know if he's drinking Crown or what he's drinking, but I know when I'm drinking Crown, I don't like to be bothered. This guy doesn't like to be bothered either. He just wants to have his drink and be left alone. But one of these brutal knights, this particular brutal knight, who basically is going to be the one marrying the dead king's daughter and sort of take over that, that particular house, so to speak, or take over that castle, he doesn't like being talked back to and he doesn't like being disrespected. So he proceeds to try to make an example out of this stranger who just wants to be left alone and drink in the bar, right? Unfortunately, this stranger, he's kind of good at fighting. He knows what he's doing and uh, he ain't an easy guy to hurt. And that the half this freaking comic book is almost like a, it's a dialogue and a fight scene. It's kind of cool. I liked it. it was, I enjoyed it. And the big reveal at the end the big reveal, I gotta tell you, and I'm just gonna tell you because this is the setup for the series. So even though it might be somewhat of a spoiler, I'm gonna tell you because I want you to pick up this comic because it's worth picking up. Because this stranger ends up to be, in fact, the Lord Regent that was appointed by King Adon before he was killed in battle. And because of the rules of, of politics in this in this particular universe set up here, he basically is the king, of, he's, still, he's the regent of the castle, and it overrides this brutal knight that's been sent by the king that conquered the land. He, he's still technically the ruler of the castle, and so he kicks out this brutal knight, and he technically can do that. And of course, by doing so, you know he's made an enemy. And so this is a setup, you know that there's going to be a battle, you know that we got a lot of pissed off uh, people here angry at this so-called new stranger who's, who, who's carrying papers claiming to be the Lord Regent appointed by the now dead King Aaron. And you know that the knights that he kicks out of the castle are going to be back eventually because eventually those uh, eventually that's going to lead, I am guessing, to the last siege. Because remember, this is one of the few remaining free provinces in the continuity set up in this universe. So this set, this this has all the hallmarks of just sort of like a cool medieval Game of Thrones kind of western, and it has a good feel to it. I I love it. I I mean I I love stories like that. I'm a big, huge Clint Eastwood fan. I love Jonah Hex, and this to me has sort of a sort of a western feel to it. And the way things are set up, the way the art. I mean I have to give credit to Justin Greenwood on the art here. It does a really great job. He really sets up the atmosphere well here. And I got to say, it's it's done really well. I would strongly recommend you guys check it out. And uh, I particularly like at the end where the one individual says, what one of the high council of members of the, the castle basically tells tells this brutal knight that I'm sorry sir but you're not you're not in charge here you're not you're not in command he is and he's pointing to the guy that <laughs> is laying on the ground after having been beat up and it's it's quite interesting so uh you got to wonder what's coming next but you can kind of guess 
This has all the hallmarks of a potential, maybe a little bit, some common tropes here. Might even sound a little bit cliche what I'm telling you, but it, I think it's good and exciting stuff and it's worth checking out. The Last Siege, guys, check it out. I would, gi I gotta give this, uh, because I enjoy it so much, I would give this a solid B+. Plus, but I'm gonna up that to an A-, minus only because I love I love the, the trope that it's playing with. So I'm gonna have to give it an A-, minus, and I strongly recommend you guys pick it up. And check out my channel, Comic Boom, and check me out on Twitter, Twitter at uh, Comic Boom, uh, at Metropolis40 on Twitter. And, of course, keep on watching uh, Professor Bill of Comic Book University. He's a great guy. He's got a great channel. And until next time, Comic Boom out. And on behalf of the professor, class dismissed. <laughs>